cars are hardly selling in the US these days, regardless of make or model. And you won't find many diesel engines at dealerships. In the US, diesel has a negative image. The engines are seen as dirty and loud and are mostly limited to trucks and industrial use vehicles. We haven't seen that movement yet. The diesels here are primarily purchased for their application, for their ability to deliver high torque and to, to carry loads or tow trailers or do things of that nature. Johannes Jörg Ruger was dispatched to Detroit by German engineering company Bosch to help make diesel more attractive in the US. We'd like to see the market share of diesel in North America grow significantly in the coming years. It won't happen right away, it'll take time. But we think a major shift is possible by 2015. And it's exciting to see how the first steps are progressing. Still, we're a long way off from the 50% market share that diesel has in Germany. Engineers are working to adapt the latest diesel technology to the U.S. market. After all, automakers have to meet environmental standards, which are especially strict in states like California. Emissions requirements are tougher, especially with nitrogen and nitrogen oxides. And the vehicles are different here. Because American cars are bigger, the engines are bigger than in Europe. Here we have eight cylinders. That's practically standard in the U.S. In Germany, hardly any cars have eight-cylinder engines. Not only does the auto industry have to reduce invisible emissions, it also has to cut back on visible pollutants like unburned carbon. But the question remains, why are German manufacturers convinced that now is the time to push diesel autos? Well, that's a good question. It's not that Americans should buy diesel cars to help offset depressed sales, but rather to help meet their fuel efficiency goals. And diesel engines are a terrific way to achieve those targets. But few consumers are prepared to make decisions based solely on their environmental impact. For most, price is the bottom line. Although diesel models are about 25% more fuel efficient, the vehicles are considerably more expensive. The engine runs fine, and I'd, I'd like one, but I can't afford it right now. <laughs> and at the pump too, diesel is also more expensive even if it is at least now available at most filling stations. But if Detroit is to see brighter days again, US car makers will have to develop new technologies like alternative engine designs. Local politicians hope that companies like Bosch and newcomers will help save the auto industry and revive the struggling economy here. But at this year's auto show, there's little sense of optimism. The current crisis is still weighing too heavily on everyone's mind. Nevertheless, Johannes Jörg Ruger is curious about potential customers' reaction to diesel. I think it's great that there are a few diesel models at the auto show here. I'm glad to see them. It's something different in the U.S. And Ruger hopes to keep doing his part to expand the popularity of diesel in the U.S. His employer Bosch is counting on greater interest in the technology once the economy and auto market bounce back to life.